Hi everyone, I'm Andrew and welcome back to Taekwondo Step by Step. Today is Monday and it's beautiful. <sighs> you know, us common people, we're kind of funny. When we see an expert or someone above us make a mistake, we kind of feel a little bit relieved because we kind of see them as being more human or more like us. We kind of feel this bond between us, don't we? We're kind of strange people. Well. Master Lee is definitely above us when it comes to Taekwondo and he does make mistakes. But anyway, let's learn from him right now as we go through Taekwondo Chiltang. Welcome back, Master Lee. Hello, everyone. I'm Lee Kyu Hyun. Master Lee, today is the second week, the first day of the second week, actually, that we are working on Taegeuk Chiljang. What special words have you got for us? Yes, Taegeuk Chiljang is recommended for the red belt level. A trainee in this intermediate level should have an unfaltering determination, a good knowledge of the skills and a high level of concentration. These are the factors one should have. That means we've progressed an awfully long way from, um, from before, haven't we? Yes, Andrew, you can say that. And I will carry this big burden to do my best in teaching you further. Follow me now as we practice the patterns. Okay, guys. Let's get into it now. Today is the first day of our second week on Teg Chiltang, and we need to ooh, put all of our effort into it. Let's get on there right now with Master Lee. All right, we'll now move into the seventh pattern, Teguk Chiltang. This pattern focuses on the strengthening of the mind and soul. Let's take a look now. Watch carefully. <laughs> Okay, this is where we left off last time, the Tungjumok Apchigi in the Pomsogi stance. From here, you use the right leg as the axis and bring your feet together. This becomes a Boasogi. Next, you take your two hands to your waist area and slowly bring them together. The right hand should be making the fist and the left hand in the Aguison supports the right hand. Now, while doing this, you should be exhaling about two-thirds of your breath until the hands are brought up to your facial area, to the level right below your nose to be exact. The left hand shouldn't be completely covering the hand like this. Rather, the hand should be lightly folding the fist without direct contact. This form is meant for concentration, controlling your breath, and preparing for the next move. Next, before taking a step forward, you adjust the arms like this. Right fist facing up and left fist facing down. And then actually stepping forward, you cross your arms like this, as if you're twisting them with force to make both the momtongmaki and the aramaki. This is called kawimaki. Next, expecting the opponent to attack again, you block in the same method. Oof. 
Remember when you're blocking to make it really firm and hard because if you don't then you'll just get hit because this is somebody's blocking, this is your blocking of someone else's attack on you. So remember that. Let's get right in now to some serious practical sessions. <laughs> okay, it's now time to improve your form through practical application. Okay. When the opponent makes a consecutive punch, you block like this, the way I showed you earlier, crossing the opponent's arm. The key is to hit his elbow with your right hand, like this. If you do this properly, the opponent's elbow will be badly damaged. The actual block looks like this. And next, when he punches again, you block, extending your right hand first, and you fold his arm in this manner and twist it. The opponent will be subdued from attacking again. This is a two-step application. I'll show you now in actual speed. You know the saying, when things get difficult, you just put your head down and you get into it. Well, you can't put your head down, otherwise you won't be able to see. But anyway, lift your head up. In your mind, just put your head down. Let's get into it now as we practice everything from today, from beginning to end, in today's Point. Okay, everyone, are you gaining confidence with your forms? You'll feel even more confident as we go into free sparring. Today, we'll learn how you can spar with someone who's good at tuichagi or tui tolyochagi. Now, I will be the attacker in this situation. Watch carefully. Okay. When I make a fainting motion, I'll naturally get closer to him, right? When he tries to kick me, I quickly strike him while blocking at the same time. I block and strike like this. Now, if he sees that coming and backs off to come kicking again, I retreat accordingly and kick him in the side. As always, the timing is when the opponent is about to set his foot down on the ground. Let's look at it, everyone. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Now, weren't they just some of the coolest moves you've ever seen? I think they were cool. Well, here are some more cool moves that you can actually follow along with as we teach you now in Taekwondo Real Life. Today marks one year since we first met, so tonight we're dining together in a very expensive restaurant. But unfortunately, I'm a little bit late, so I'm going to have to see you guys later. See ya. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hey. We bumped shoulders, how come you're holding your back? I <laughs> Okay, anyway, I'm out of time, so I'm going to take I... off, okay? Yay! I, you said that your shoulders hurt, how can you punch me like that? I think your shoulder looks alright, so I'm late for a date, I'm going to go. Take it easy, okay? Yeah! <laughs> People who learn Taekwondo, no matter how busy or rushed they are, they never pick fights. They always try to avoid them, but unfortunately, these things happen. And then, we have no choice but to protect ourselves. I'm still late, so I'm going to take off. See you guys later, okay? Well, folks, it's now time for us to bid you all farewell. We hope you've learned a lot today. A wise person once said, I started over again. I couldn't climb the mountain the first time, so I'm starting again. That's what we should do each time we make a mistake or we have a kind of a failure or anything like that. That's right. Why settle for what you have when you can do it over again and maximize the result? That's so right. Well. Join us again tomorrow for more on Taekwondo Step by Step. Thanks so much, Master Lee. Thank you, everyone. Hey,